Kindergarten pupil Mark Dave Manduyug held on tight to the 100 peso he received after his singing performance. When asked what he would buy with the money, the child said he would buy rice. Those were the few words the child uttered in an entire interview together with his mom, Helen. Perhaps for the young boy, his 100 peso bill is too valuable to part with for a toy. His mother explained that Mark Dave does not eat corn food, so he would rather spend his money for rice grain than to buy a toy and later on eat corn, which is sold at a lower price than rice, for meals. Mark Dave is a four-year-old kid born into a family of music ministry members in Sagay, Toledo City. He is the youngest of three siblings. His older sister is seven years old, while his older brother is 14 years old. After winning his first singing contest in school, opportunities presented themselves to him. He was invited to perform in front of a large crowd headed by no less than Governor Hilario Pidavide III last August. Mark Dave is not naive to the challenges confronting their family even at his young age. His father Andy died four years ago of sickness, months before he was born. This gave his mother a big challenge to raise three siblings without their father. Mark Dave understood that. His mother said that is why instead of spending their summer hooking up in the neighborhood, Mark Dave and his brother and sister help her in the three-hectare rice farm owned by her uncle. Farming is the only source of income the family has. Sayo mi dito, upainom sa pilapilan, nanom. Puyog ni siya niya ang lapok ko yung lao man dyan eh, kay gamay pa man, tagahawak niya ang lapok, malubong ni siya niya. Kinilingin bata, kiat kayo ang lapok niya, maangot pire sa ulo, mabubuhon niyang lapok niya. Ako lang pasagdahan, pag time na nga init kayo, ako na silang babuulion dirig una, kaya naamang ko yung mga hayupan, sila may manghipos, ang tulog, ako'y baka, kanong day, ang anak niya. Sila malang ang makunghipos niya, humala to, maligo sila, balik sa tapaso na saan ko nila, dadan kong baon. Helen admitted that she really struggled to meet the needs of her family, especially with the loss of their breadwinner. The prizes they win from singing contests really helped them buy their basic needs. Mark, Dave, and his siblings often joined singing contests. They got their singing influences from their parents, who were choir members of their church. The couple kept pushing their children into singing. Unfortunately for Helen's husband, he did not see his youngest turn into a stage sensation at a very young age. In a citywide singing competition for the Children's Month celebration last year, Mark, at three years old, represented his barangay and won the contest. Mark Dave was supposed to join the regional children's contest scheduled to be held in October last year, but the Department of Social Welfare and Development Office 7 canceled the event due to the 7.2 magnitude earthquake that hit central Visayas in the middle of the month. At the end of his daycare class last year, Mark Dave received the Most Outstanding Pupil, Singer of the Year, and Most Polite Awards. This year, he got a break for a bigger audience which may become a turning point in his life. Mark Dave joined Mr. Nutrition Month contest in Sagay Elementary School where he was enrolled as a kindergarten pupil. School head teacher Roldan Canillo said he did not win the competition as there are other criteria that were factored in the contest. But his preparation for the contest did not go to waste. Prior to the activity, he was asked by their barangay captain to sing in a barangay event which was attended by provincial board member Griselda J.G. Sanchez. Nagbisita si board member J.G. Sanchez. Dito sa barangay kay Kenbert, may kapitan Jimbo. 
sa program nga diha si Ma'am Jeje. Invite ang ng bata ang kanta. Kauban sa yang suon nga maguwang. Kasi kini ni Doyog. Nga sa pagdeliver ni bata na gusto ani Ma'am Jeje kay mayam sa yung pagkakanta niya. Pagka human ato di gakos doon ni Ma'am Jeje ng bata na di Isa at si Mang Gigi nga iyan dapat sa kapitulyo para magpasang sila ang mga activities ito. Last August 6, P.B. Sanchez made true her promise to the kid. Mark Dave performed during the Capitol's founding anniversary celebration in front of Capitol officials and employees. It was Governor Davide who gave Mark Dave 100 pesos after his performance. P.B. Sanchez, who brought him there, also gave 500 peso and 25 kilos of rice for his family. Helen, now 37, was a working student of midwifery when she met her husband at a Pentecostal church in Cebu City in 1999. But when her Japanese boss decided to go back to Japan, she quit schooling after only one semester. She said her fate would have never been the same if her mother permitted her to go to Japan with her boss. But despite what happened, she believes her life is still filled with blessings with the presence of her children. Helen prays that someday her children's talents would help them provide a better future. She is also hoping that they would give back what she invested for them when she gets old. <laughs> Helen is hoping her life story would inspire other widowed mothers to succeed even with their difficulties.